Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be going through my planners for 2021. It has been a long process for sure. I know last year it was around this time. I actually had already had all my planners set up and I think I only had about, let's see, one, two, I think I only had four planners um, and that's still kind of the same. I know it looks like there's a lot going on here. Um, there's even a planner underneath here, but I found that having a system for on the go is starting to come back into my life, which is a good thing because, um, you know, I had a bunch of planners set up. Like for example, I had a skinny classic for my on the go planner. It was working great. And then COVID pandemic hit us and we just stopped going everywhere. So that was like an example of a planner that I lost. I also lost uh, my wellness planner because I, I mean, I just bummed it a lot. I did not take advantage of trying to do something as far as gratitude goes. Um, I definitely did exercising though, but I didn't really track it. So that planner went out the books. And I was also starting to develop a more minimal style of planning. And I initially started in January because I had seen a couple of other planners, um, specifically Rebecca from Equate Pram. She started showing her ring system or not so much a ring system it was her half letter and it was very neutral i loved it and she, it was because of her videos i found cloth and paper and from there it was like a whole transition um, for it and then for my birthday i got the subscription box and so i've been doing cloth and paper ever since then um, and building different sizes uh, mostly a half letter and a mini HP, but I'm also thinking I might incorporate a pocket planner, but we'll see how that goes um, for next year for it. But yeah, so it's it took a lot of getting to this point here because I had to take a step back and realize, okay, what this is where you started in for 2020. This is what happened down the row. And I ended up feeling like I just had way too much planner stuff. So I want to say about two months ago, I did like a planner de -stash. I still have items that I'm trying to get rid of um, and I just I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Part of me wants to just bundle it or maybe just list it uh, for it. And then I also think and I'll come back to it, my budgeting, but I'm going to be serious with budgeting. And I also think I'm going to let go of some unicorn items, which I love them so much. But for the sake of my budget in 2021 um, planner stuff, even if it's a unicorn, I'm going to sell them. So I do have a lot of Happy Planner Unicorn items that I'll be probably be listing soon. I just have to get it, get in the mindset of it's okay, you can let them go <laughs> for them. So that's, that was like my transition in 2020. Started off with all of these goals and then they just like, I'm sure like many of us, they just started dwindling down. And what I ended up with at the end of 2021 was simply my budget planner, um, a teaching planner, and then a half letter uh, system as well. So I've done a couple of things for the past couple of months or for like about the last month or so that have made me realize, okay, this is a system that is going to work for me in 2021, fingers crossed here, but it's, I've either used it for most of 2020 or I'm gonna start pushing it into 2021. But part of my system now, which you'll see are printables. And I have found that that is a lifesaver when it comes to skipping a week. Um, and it happens. It happens for me. Sometimes I just get really busy with work that I don't fill it in for my um, everyday carry planner. Printables are going to ease that for me. So again, I have my new planner lineup here. I am currently using all of them except for one. And it's this big guy down here um, that I'll show you guys. But in this video, I'm going to go through each one just briefly. I'll just kind of flip through them and then I will do individual planner videos for showing you guys how I plan on using them. All right, y'all, I moved everything out of the way so that way you can look at them one planner at a time. And I'm going to start with this one here. This is technically the new planner in my lineup that I am not currently using. And this is the Happy Planner Big Lettering planner um, and this says love letters 2021 so this will officially start in January 2021 and I am hoping to use this to work on lettering for the entire year um, I still need to kind of go through and put my name on here I honestly haven't looked at this in months because when it first came out I grabbed it 
knew I would use it and I was desperate to use it right away. But then I saw that some planners are, or some planner um, Instagram accounts are going to be doing challenges. And so I want to kind of work my way with them. I don't know if they're still doing it though. So I think I might send them a DM and just kind of ask, hey, are you still planning on doing like a word of the day or what to practice for the month? Uh, just to kind of follow through on them and then to also look up some YouTubers to see how they act because it's actually nice to see them doing the lettering too. But this is a big goal of mine is to work on this lettering um, throughout the entire year because now I have a planner for it and there are no excuses. Like it's even lined perfectly for lettering for it. And then there's tips down here. It's no longer just here's a word practice it's here's some tips to go along with it as well so i'm excited to use this one um january 2021 this will be a lettering planner that i i'm going to keep it at home and i'll just practice at home all right my next planner setup is for my work um so for my teacher planner system this is the teacher planner that i started in august um it has gone through a major revamp since then and I have made videos as far as what really changed. And the big thing was definitely um, the fact that I introduced these neutral style teacher planners pages. But I still use it the same way. I still have it for my agendas here. And then on the back, I have some sheets that I print out, which is why I love the HP Big Size for it. Because I can print out anything I need for school and keep it in these back pages. But something that I was doing that did take up some time here and I actually didn't mind it but then I found a new system <laughs> was like these planning these daily schedules out and what I would do is I would take a sheet of paper out and I would just write down what I need to do for each day and this would help guide my planning for the week well I'm going to move away from these and in fact I think I'm going to take all of these inserts out because in addition to this planner here I am now going to start using this classic HP size as like a supplement to this. So this is going to be, in fact, I'm gonna keep this at home now. This is not gonna to come to school with me. I'm gonna keep this at home to help me transition everything into here. So grades, the agendas, my um, my teaks that I have to follow, all of that will stay in here now. And this will be my new on-the-go teacher planner. This is what I'm gonna be taking to work. And so I ended up putting this cover on it now that it's like my own teaching supplement, it used to just be some happy notes. So it was just the cover and then all this paper here. But what happened was for Black Friday, I took advantage of the Happy Planner sale and I ordered their homeschool extension pack. And I've loved how I've been using it to help me prep. And I'll go through a video explaining how all of this works again. I did like a quickie on my Instagram stories. But I'm going to go through this all over again in another video explaining my school setup. But I love this as far as what needs to not only get done for the whole um, for the whole week, but to also kind of prep into it. What are the assignments? Over here I have like lectures I need to make. This has worked out so well just for like one week so far. And I know I'm going to love it for just going into it. I've already kind of set up January um, already. So again, I'll make another video to explain things like these little page flags and what each week is for, but this is now the planner that I'll be using on the go. Because I'm going to be taking this with me, I bought a new planner cover for it, not a deluxe cover like you saw with the big one, but the one that I have on my budget planner here. And this is a block or the happy planner, hard snap on cover in a black quilted material. I only have one, it's always been for budgeting, but now that this is going on the go, during that Happy Planner sale, I bought another one. So when that comes in, that's gonna go on here. And so this will be my planner that I'll take with me on the go for teaching. So two work planners now. Gonna be crazy, but I think I'm gonna love how that works much better. Okay, the next planner with system is budgeting. So since I pulled that out, I'll just keep it here. Technically, I have two planners for budgeting, but I'll kind of move this. I'll talk about this one first here. I am using a cash envelope system from the Budget Mom, and I store my cash envelopes in this planner here, this spring planner. This is an older cloth and paper planner cover. It is super pretty. I absolutely love it, but I am not a ring system 
kind of gal. So I decided I wanted to use this for keeping my cash envelopes. And then I use the Filofax wallet, which I have over here. Um, the Filofax wallet, which does have rings in it. So, I mean, it doesn't bother me that it's ring system like this. But what I can do now, since I have these punched, I can just transfer them over here if I need to take them anywhere to spend that cash. But this part is technically part of my budgeting system because this is where I store my sinking funds. And in another video, when I go over my whole budgeting system, I'll explain what envelopes are actually in here. So this is technically part of the whole system for my planner lineup in 2021. And then this is the budget planner. I just got through setting this up in a way that makes it more functional for me, but I will show you guys um, the inside, the guts of it, or actually, yeah, I'll just show you, I'll show you guys a little bit of the inside. And then again, a lot more detail um, in another video. But this is a cover that I used last year. This is from the Happy Planner. It is from the Modern Farmhouse Collection. Absolutely love this. And I love that. I just kind of love the saying here. You are in the right place to help me jump into my budgeting. Just a little bit of motivation here. And then the dividers, I'll jump to those here. The dividers are from a mix of planners. Um, I mean, I just love these. These are like modern farmhouse here. More than modern farmhouse style. This is just so pretty. So I actually stole these dividers from that planner. And then my inserts were in here for the entire year. And since this is prepping for 2021, I have taken them out already. And I've placed the inserts that were in here in like this ring system. So they, this is from last year. These are already out. Oh, my budgeting worksheets already for January, February, and I want to say March. Yeah, and up to March for them. So worksheets are in here all the way up to March, ready to go. As far as the actual budgeting system, and I, I'm just going to show you guys what I'm using here. Um, this is from the budget mom. She has a wonderful budget by paycheck system that utilizes a couple of different methods. And one of them is the cash envelope system. She also uses like the highlighter method to keep track of your expenses as well. And then of course, budgeting by your paycheck, um, for, and I've used it for a solid year now and I love it. I honestly have had a lot of speed bumps with it because I didn't follow it exactly, but I am ready to completely commit to like every single thing the way it's supposed to be um, for 2021 and part of that is tracking your expenses and then if you run out of money you stop <laughs> for that one I feel like that was my downfall is I would go over budget in something that it just it, it was bad so budget mom system check it out if you're interested in budgeting this is what I will continue to use and I am going to continue using a digital version so that I can print them out on blank happy planner paper. So this is the her workbook in the digital format that I've already printed out a couple of pages for and I ended up buying the new one um, because I wanted these worksheets and I really liked how they looked. I love the blue but I also like how they look all together like like these pages here, this is way different and I love this look a lot better. So I ended up buying the new version um, of her workbook and I printed pages already, but my 2021 budgeting planner is set up, ready to go for January. And I'll talk more about what my saving goals are and what how I use the pages in another video. So that's my budgeting system. Next up is going to be my catch-all planner and that is going to be my half letter planner. This one, Again, I started using this back in like March. I was gathering all of my inserts, even throughout April. And I don't think I officially started using it till like May because I was such a newbie, but it has gone through such a transformation throughout the entire year um, for it. And most of these inserts are cloth and paper. And I have discovered the world of just printing your own vellum, printing your own dashboards. And I love it. I love it so much. Um, so just kind of a quick flip through here for as far as what my everyday or my catch-all is going to look like. I am going to be using this for my digital declutter or my digital detox. I'm also going to use this for the inbox system here. So I absolutely love how this works. And then sometimes I'll move sticky notes over here as well. Then I also have a weekly section in here 
which is also going through its own transformation. Um, I ended up ordering some more cloth and paper monthlies. They're not here yet, but I'm going to use that monthly portion for keeping track of my cleaning schedule, which has been going great so far using this method. And then the new system is using the some weekly printables. These right here are from Infinite Lotus, and I really wanted to try like a week on one page and then a running to-do list. Um, and I haven't really turned to this page just yet because I think what it is is that I'm also trying to work out with this page here, which is kind of helping me plan like ahead of time. And these are from Elm on Paper Co. And I know for sure I want to use these. I even made my own stickers here for each category. Um, but I feel like since this is consuming like my to-do list life here, I haven't really done too much as far as keeping track. So this is this is literally the first week I'm using it. It is still a work in progress for it, but they are printables. And then this is technically the last month I have of these cloth and paper um, vertical weeks. And I think this is going to be it. I'm not going to use these in 2021 because I want to make these inserts work for me. So those are going to be my weeklies. I also have some dailies in here. I have a couple of different daily sheets because I just love them all. These are probably my favorites, but I have some from Elmont Paper Co. These are from Simple Trendy Co. Lots of different dailies. This next section is going to be my health section. This is where I'm going to be putting my workouts. These are all from Peanuts Planner Co. And I love these. I love these weight training ones. I'm super excited to keep track of those. And this last section is notes for it. So this part, this is really thin. It used to be a lot chunkier, but I think what happened is I took some sections out and I now have them in my HP mini, but which is the next planner here. But again, this is my catch all. This is where I'm gonna keep track of like weekly goals. And this one literally sits on my desk open so that way I can kind of go through everything with it. And then this last planner is my HP mini planner. This one, I'm so in love with this one right now, you guys. This is, I put this together and just in love. And it's not even fully complete because I'm still waiting for some inserts, but I did a flip through of this one already, um, kind of going through all the inserts here. But this is going to be my everyday carry one. And I'm super nervous about it because I am using the cloth and paper contoured leather agenda cover and small to fit the HP Mini. I have it on Happy Planner 1.25 inch disc here. And then all the inserts here are just a mix of everything. But as far as my sections go, um, the inbox section definitely been really helpful. This first part here is for um, social media tracking as well as like any mini to-do list here. So for example, like for this week here, I kind of have a today dashboard. And then I have like, if I post anything for social media, and then if anything's happening during that day, I'm kind of mixing it all together right now, but I've always used, like for the past two years, I've always used a mini dashboard for my um, social media tracking. And then this next section, this is like my favorite section. I love this part here. These inserts are a monthly style mini from, H from Happy Planner. And I love, this portion. It is simply a running to-do list. And same thing like you saw with those Elma and Paper Co. inserts. I titled them here and now I'm just kind of using them as a running to-do list um, for what I need to do. So while I'm at work, this is kind of like my everything. Like not only is this what you have to do for work, but this is what you still need to do for home and planner life. So also helping me plan uh, my social media post here. This next part is the wellness section, which will start in 2021. These are some Happy Planner inserts from their wellness planner. And I'll go through what all of this is talking about here, but I am gonna change these titles to kind of fit what I need. Um, and I think I just wanna print some stickers now to kind of cover it up, but I am gonna redo this and incorporate this morning mindset. Um, dashboard from cloth and paper so more to come on how I plan on doing my wellness but I figured you know I, one of the things I'm going to do is like water tracker and since this is going to go on the go with me I want this section here so I can mark off my water tracking system any movement I've done um, I'm going to mark that down here 
And then of course, if I have time to do a reflection or to answer these questions that I'm gonna be using, then I'll do that on the go. This next portion is my wish list section. I um, don't have them in yet, but they are coming from cloth and paper order that I put in. I want this on the go, especially if I'm maybe out shopping or if I have time to shop online. And that way it's with me at all times of what did I see? What am I buying that person? Um, how much was it marked for? Now is it on sale? I feel like this would be better to have on the go rather than just in my catch all planner. So I'm going to try this out. This is still a question mark. We'll see if I actually use this or not. And then this one is my five year plan from cloth and paper. I have been saving it for 2021 and I'm just beyond excited to start using this because I really do need the motivation and I'll go through what all of these mean and why I did it on sticky notes later on. But I feel like if it's with me, it'll It'll be better just to have it like with me at all times, just to kind of walk around and check it out. Um, but yeah, and then this last section here, this last tab is a note section. And I just have a bunch of note paper back here as well for it. So this is my HP Mini, which is going to be my everyday carry planner. Just to kind of recap, my other ones, this is my half letter, which will be my catch-all planner This is going to stay home. Then I also have my budgeting setup. So this is going to be my budget planner from the Budget Mom. This is also gonna stay home. Then I have my teacher planner setup, which is a big planner. And now this small one, this one will also go on the go with me here. And then the last planner I have, which super excited to get started with, is going to be this guy, my big half, my big HP letters planner love letters planner there we go that one but yeah lots of planners i know it always looks like a lot and i really honestly if i can i would love to try to condense it into just two planners but i found that if i have my budgeting separate like this it is successful so this one has to stay this system instead of making it smaller i made it bigger but it's for work so i'm okay with this here and then this is just a new planner for lettering so I don't count that as like an extra planner 2021 so ready to crush goals I say that every year but this year I just feel like I need I need to do something more um not just with planning but also with just like budgeting and wellness um for sure so I am looking forward to doing more uh in 2021 for sure whether that's traveling exercising more saving more um, for it and then of course making more videos for you guys as I use all of these planners here If you've got your 2021 lineup below Let me know if you're using any of these setups or if you have any questions right now about the planners that I showed you But again, I will be making more detailed videos of them later on and I'll post those hopefully before the end of the year for you guys It just depends on when my orders come in and I'm not really feeling rushed as far as where are they right now for it. But if you guys have questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, but hopefully everyone liked this video today. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you know when I have more videos posted, especially these that are coming in here. Um, and I will see everybody next time. Bye y'all.